All right, Otani, look, mate, we're not doing this again. No, we're just not. I was just starting to like you, and you decide you can't play baseball anymore. Harsh. Mate, you have twice as many strikeouts as hits. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome back to Detroit. It is Season 10, Episode 2 today. We are going to face the Kansas City Royals, and we are sitting dead smack on 500. 10 and 10 after, uh, obviously, 20 games of the season. And, I mean, the disappointment has been Otani, who is just being disappointing. Uh, the other disappointment has been uh, Kamuna. He has not had a good start to his time on the mound, but uh, we're not too bad off in terms of injuries. No one really long-term. Uh, Lemus has had a minor one, and Child is a day-to-day -day for a couple of days, but nothing that we can't really deal with, so that's all positive. Um, so let's go and have a look at how we've been getting on here. So after opening day defeat, it didn't start well the season. No, we only won one of two at home to Texas, which is obviously disappointing. Uh, we lost the first two games in New York, and at this point I'm uh, a little bit concerned <laughs> how the season's going. Uh, we click over to April, though, and things start to pick up for us. So a 10-5 win here in New York. Uh, a very good day at the plate here for uh, Jimmy Singley. If uh, we just quickly scroll down here, we can see he went five, sorry, five for six with four RBIs. Valdivanos went three for three with four RBIs. So yeah, very, very good day. And in fact, Singley was only a double away from hitting for the cycle. He hit a home run, a triple, which are obviously the two most difficult ones to do. And then three singles. So yeah, surely one of those singles, you just try and stretch it for a double to get the cycle. But anyway, uh, in terms of pitching, it was Carmona. And you can see he's just not had a very Carmona kind of start, but he managed to get the win here regardless. And then, like I say, things continued to go well because we swept Houston at home, which is good. Went to San Antonio. We have a bit of a mixed record against this mob, don't we? Um, so we lost the first two. We did win game three. Game three also featured a uh, slam, a grand slam from TV in the sixth there. Uh, so that was good. In the end, it was the difference between the two teams, obviously, with a four-run victory. Uh, we can see oh, how everybody's uh, got on there again. TV four for five with five RBIs. Trialers were three for four day. Uh, and at the top of the order there, Lemus with three hits as well. And then if we go down, we can see with the start he's had a very solid start to the year more like what i expected from him uh when we first got him in so yeah that was uh, very very nice indeed and then if we go we had a rest day the very next game it was an 8-3 win versus boston and we had another grand slam which is huge back-to-back -back games essentially but with slams for the team uh this was in the fifth obviously there where we scored six which again was the difference between the two teams uh if we have a look at everybody's batting um child is his only hit of the game but uh made it count which is good uh, and you can see that more or less everybody contributed even uh, shane baz at the plate went two for two for three and if we go down, Shane Baz, very, very good start. 3-0, you can see he's been really good, really, really good coming back from that serious injury, um, only giving up the three earned runs in eight inning of work. So then we had a little bit of a dodgy trip to LA. We got swept by the Angels, which is not ideal. Uh, because there's a couple of close ones there. But then we came back and absolutely destroyed the Kansas City Royals, 13-6. Uh, to 6. If we have a look here, uh, there was uh, well, there was no grand slams, but there was a 10-run sixth inning, which is, <laughs> just to say, uh, quite impressive. If we go down and have a look at everybody did, Al Vera with a five-hit day, five for five for him. Uh, we had uh, Cavanos, the catcher, getting four RBIs. Mendoza, the first baseman, with three. Uh, a couple of home runs there for those two, of course. And yeah, just a very, very solid day as well. And go down to the pitching. Wasn't a great day. Uh, Barrera got the start. Uh, we've moved him and we've switched him and Harrison around. So Barrera's in the rotation. Maybe shouldn't have been on this one. Uh, and Harrison's dropped back into the bullpen. You can see Harrison did well on this one from 2.2 .2 inning of work. So yeah, it was, uh, it was all good in the end. So that is uh, pretty much how that's gone. If we have a look at the standings. And we can see we're only one game off the top, which is absolutely fine. It's been a solid, if not remar you know, unremarkable start. But you know, historically, we've got off to really good starts and faded. So I'm actually okay with how things are going right now. As long as we sort of keep getting a little bit better, you can see the Yankees and the Orioles have got off to absolutely cracking starts, and a couple of teams over there in the National League have as well. Uh, in terms of the wild card, I mean, it doesn't really mean too much right now. Um, there's a lot of teams there that are sort of tied, but it literally doesn't matter. It's too early. If we look at some of the uh, league leaders, we don't have anybody up there with the bat. If we go down, though, Shane Baz is getting it done with the ball. He has uh, three wins from uh, from his season so far. So, yeah, I'm, uh, as I say, pleased with how it's going without maybe being ecstatic. 
So if we have a look at everybody's uh, pitching numbers here, uh, like I say, Carmona is struggling to start the season off, but uh, I think we have enough from him. We've seen enough of him to know that he will hopefully anyway come good at some point. Uh, Morales has been a little bit slow to start his sort of first full season, uh, but the two stars, Ake and, and Baz, without a doubt. And the bullpen, it's a bit too early to be judging people, I think. Sawyer's done his usual disappointing start to the season. <laughs> He's only, only pitched 2.2 uh, innings, so we'll give him a break on that one. And Harrison wasn't doing it as a starter, but I think uh, I think him as a starter, Barrera as, sorry, him as a, in the bullpen, Barrera as a starter does make a little bit more sense. Uh, we just need to give it a few games to let that, uh, the, sort of those numbers average themselves out. So yeah, there we go. Eke is, uh, Ekna, sorry, is doing a good job in the bullpen uh, coming into close games out as well, which is, uh, which is promising. Now the hitters. Yeah, now the hitters have been a little bit literally hit and miss to excuse the pun, but uh, yeah, the catchers, neither of them have really, they were both quite good last year with the bat. Neither of them have really got going this season. Uh, the other disappointments, Vega and Otani, are just not quite doing what I would like them to do. Um, Vega has been the better of the two, but yeah, kind of is what it is. Valdovanos has had an absolutely cracking start to the year, as has uh, as has TB and uh, Childers as well. As I say, he is day-to-day -day right now with an injury, so that's a bit of a shame because he's... Uh well, I mean, their MVP style numbers he's putting up there right now, aren't they? So, yeah, solid for the most part. Vera is having a much better season as well, which is uh, which is good to see. So that is uh, everything more or less caught up on. Let's go see what we're doing here, the lineups to face the Royals. On your feet, Tigers fans, as tonight's starting lineup takes the field. At first base, it's Octavio Mendoza. A big Major League Baseball welcome to second baseman James Triantos. At third base, it's Jim Singley. The shortstop is Edmilson Fernandez. In left field, it's David Valdebano. In center field, it's Chris Ford. In right field, it's Keenan TV. The catcher tonight is John Cavazos. And tonight's starting pitcher is your Donny Kamona. All right, so these matchups look quite good, don't they? So Chris Ford will lead us off in center field. It is singly batting second in third. Valdivanos in left field bats three. TB in right field bats four. Fernandez, the shortstop, bats five. And Note Mendoza, even at first base, bats six. Uh, Triantos is still in the team with the injury to Lemus, so he uh, he's still going. He's at second base. Uh, I believe this is his first career start, though. So uh, uh, you may have seen that uh, Vera needed a little bit of a rest. It's uh, Cavanos, the catcher for this one, at eight. Carmona pitching at nine. As I say, he's had a rough start to the year. We're up against Nathan Webb for them. He has an ERA of 350, whip of 111. He's a 1 0 record from his three games. Um, if we get the Carmona we know we can get, we'll be fine here. If we don't, then we might have a few problems. Okay, so welcome to Detroit and welcome back to Detroit. CJ Abrams, who is leading them off. Uh, he is batting 314 so far this year. Now, since we saw him last time out, Kamuna has notched up his 500th career strikeout, so it'd be nice if he could add a few more to that tally tonight. But yeah, like I say, he's not had a great start to the year, so we do need him to start and uh, pick things up a little bit for us, as CJ Abrams grounds out to Mendoza for one away. In now will come Malik Ramsey, who is batting 294. A first pitch swing, and that is into left, uh, sorry, center right field. And that will be at least a double as Valdivanos goes across. And uh, yeah, a one-out double for the Royals, which is not really how we wanted to start things off here. The Cuba comes in now, batting 213 for the year. It's a 1-1 one -one pitch, and that is popped up. That should be a simple catch as Chris Ford comes in, and the runner will stay at second with two away. It now is uh, Lemon coming in. He's batting 174. It's a full count, two out, runner at second. A ground ball should be easily out at first. It is. And uh, Triantos getting himself uh, in the scorebook nice and early here. All right, so Ford to lead us off, batting 292 this season. It's a 1 1 pitch. And let's see what he can do for us. Ford gets it into left field for a leadoff double. At least. He is not that quick so he does stay at second but we'll take that and we will see now if singly can drive in a run he is batting 289 this season so far full count he strikes out one away that looked like it was ball four two didn't it 
In now will come Val Devanos, batting 351. He's having a stunning start to his second season. And he'll get the runner over to third there, but he's thrown out at first. So that'll be two away. And can TB drive in a run? He's batting 304 this year. It's a first pitch swing. Come on, Tienan. He's popped it up. And that will end the inning as CJ Abrams makes the catch. So just a double aside in uh, that first inning. It'll be De Los Santos to lead them off here in the second. Batting 257 this year. First pitch swing, sends it to right field, and it's caught by TB. And that is one away. In now comes McLean, who is batting 314. First pitch swing. McLean grounds at the third base. It over to first, and that will be nicely done. Singly to Mendoza, of course, for two away. Bringing Edwin Jimenez to the plate, batting 167. A 2-2 two -two pitch, two out, no one on, and Carmona ends it with a strikeout. Okay, Fernandez to the plate now, batting 203 this season. It's a 2 2 pitch, and Fernandez strikes out one away. Mendoza comes in, batting 246, another 2 2 pitch. And Mendoza watches strike three. It'll bring in Triatos for his first career major league at bat. It's a he pitch, swings at his first pitch, and he sends it into center field. Well hit, but straight into the glove, unfortunately, so that'll end the inning. It will be William Contreras. It's a 3-1 pitch, and it is a ground ball. Singley has it over to first for one away, bringing the pitcher up. Webb, who is 0-4 so far this season. A 1-0 pitch, a ground ball to the shortstop. Fernandez has it, two away. In now comes CJ Abrams, 0-1 tonight, of course. And over a 2 pitch, a ground ball, and that will do it for the top of the third. Okay, let's go and have a bat again. Cavanos batting 182. It's a first pitch swing. Cavanos grounds it to the shortstop. And that will be one away. It'll bring in Carmona. He has got a hit this season. He's batting 286. In fact, he's got two of them. He's two for seven. Swings at his first pitch. Gets it up the middle. And it is caught by the shortstop. So two away. Chris Ford comes back in now. Our only hit of the night, of course. The uh, leadoff double. And uh, he's got hit again there. And he'll take himself up to first for Singley, who's 0 for 1. A 2-2 pitch. Jimmy Singley, that was a good one, wasn't it? And that'll end the inning. So we're still scoreless. And Ramsey will come in. 1 for 1 tonight. He's going to face Carmona again. A 2-2 pitch. And that is down at the first baseline. Past Mendoza. Right back to the fence. And it is going to be a triple. A leadoff triple for the Royals. So Carmona has a little bit of work to do here to uh, to keep this one scoreless. De Cuba comes in 0 for 1. It's a 3-1. Walks him. That does set up a double play, but of course it wouldn't keep the run out, but that's not the end of the world. Eddie Lemon now. If we could get a strikeout, that'd be huge. Just a 1-2 pitch, and we do get a strikeout. And now a double play will end the innings. It's De Los Santos coming in, who's 0 for 1. A 3-1. And that is hit into left center field, and that will score 1. It might even score 2. And it will score two. So a two RBI double. Oh, is it? He might have got him at the plate. He did get him at the plate. It's a one RBI double. And it is two away. Wonderful work there. And Fernandez, can he end the inning here? Yes. So we do give up a run in the fourth. But that could have been worse if it wasn't for the uh, wonderful, wonderful arm of Fernandez to get him at the plate. Valdivanos will lead us off. 0 for 1 today. A 1 0 pitch. Valdovanos rips it down into right field. That'll be at least a double. And uh, his wonderful start to the season continues. So Valdovanos at second. TB coming to the plate. And let's see if TB can tie this thing up. It's a 1 0 pitch. TB does almost the exact same hit. Valdovanos rounds third, comes home, and TB delivers a game tying RBI single. Fernandez now, who's 0 for 1. An 0-1 pitch. Fernandez. Oh, that could be a double play. Oh, it is a double play. So two out now. No one on. For Mendoza, who is 0-1. 0-2 pitch. Mendoza strikes out. We go to the fifth. Tied still. This time at one. All right. Carmona to Jimenez, who is 0-1 tonight. It's an 0-1 pitch. It is into center field. Ford is there, but only on the bounce. And it is a leadoff single. 
William Contreras now, who's 0 for 1, comes here. The 0 1 pitch. Contreras gets it into left field, and it's going to be another hit. Carmona putting two on in the top of the fifth. Webb, the pitcher now. Can we get uh, this out? First pitch swing. He looks to lay down a bunt. Can we get the man at third? No. So this is worst case scenario stuff, really, isn't it? Runners at second and third, one away. Abrams to the plate. He's over two. He would love a strikeout here. And we, well, it's not a strikeout, but it's just as good. Fernandez makes the play. Runners stay where they are. Two out now for Ramsey, who's two for two. He's had his hits for the night. Come on. Oh, dear. That is deep. That is very deep. Oh, it's at the fence. At the fence, TB makes the catch. So we've uh, pretty much got away with that, haven't we? Triantos comes in. 0 for 1 in his career, not just the night. It's a full, a full count. And he draws a walk. So he's on base for the first time in Major League Baseball. Kavanos now, who's 0 for 1. It's an 0-2 pitch. And Kavanos chases something he needed a stepladder for. So Carmona will come back in 0 for 1 tonight. A 1-1 pitch. Carmona! Oh, it's going to get caught in left field. He's not the worst with a bat, is he? But two out runner at first for Chris Ford, who is one for one. He's been hit, and he's got a hit, and that is going to be caught to end the inning. So we are still tied at one going into the sixth. So De Cuba will lead them off. 0 for 1. He must have had a walk in there as well, I think. A first pitch swing. And that is a ground ball. Mendoza over to the covering. Carmona for one away. It's Lemon now, who is 0 for 2. It's a full count, one away. No one on. Come on, Carmona. That's up the middle, and that will be a one-out single for the Royals. All right. De Los Santos, who is 1 for 2. Can we get a double play? It's a 1-2 pitch. Can we get a strikeout? No, we can do neither of those things. It's going to be a hit into right field, and runners will go to first and second with one away. McLean, you just get the feeling Carmona's starting to lose control of this one. And that might be a double play. This, oh, no, it's out at first, though. So runners at second and third, two away. Uh, Carmona's not up to bat anytime soon, so there's no need for him to get through this inning. And Jimenez takes a swing at the first one, sends it straight into Ford's glove, and we get away again without giving up any runs. Singly to lead us off. He is 0 for 2. It's a 1-0 pitch. Singly, oh, I thought that might have been going through, but the first baseman grabs it. One away. Valdivar, <coughs> excuse me, Valdivanos, who's one for two. A first pitch swing. Valdivanos pops it up. And that'll be two away as right field has a simple catch. For TB, who is one for two. It's a 2-1 pitch. TB gets it into left field. That'll drop in for a two-out single. And now we need Edmilson Fernandez to drive in that run for us, please. He's in a slump. He's 0 for 2. It's an 0-1 pitch. Fernandez, is he going to be able to bail? Oh, it's an error. So, runners at first and second with two away. Can Mendoza drive in a run here? He is 0 for 2 today. It's a first pitch swing. Mendoza, that might be leaving. No, it's holding up in the air. It looks so good off the bat. And we will go to the seventh. Still tied at 1. Contreras to face Carmona, who continues. Contreras is one for two tonight. It's a one-two pitch, and it's a strikeout for one away. Do they take their pitcher out of the game? No, they leave him in. It's another one-two pitch. Of course, a sack bunt last time. This time, it's a strikeout, so that's two away. Abrams comes back in, 0 for three. A first pitch swing, and that should be out at first to end at the middle of the seventh, and it is time to stretch. Okay, welcome back. Triantos to lead us off. He's 0 for 1 with a walk today. A 1-0 pitch. Triantos into right field. And that is right back to the fence. It didn't look as well hit as the Mendoza one. But uh, that got him a lot closer to leaving. Cavanos now, who's 0 for 2. It's a 2-1 pitch. And it is up the middle and it's through. So a one-out single. And surely now we pinch hit Carmona. And we don't. I mean, we're into the... It's, it's, we're into, it's going to be into the eighth. Surely we pinch it at this point. He's laid down a bunt, gets the runner over to second, but... I mean, how much more is he going to go in this game? Anyway, Ford now, who's one for two, comes in. Two out runner at second. Ford strikes out. And we will go into the eighth. Still tied at one. Carmona to face Ramsey, who is two for three. It's a 3-1 pitch. 
just feels like we should have pinched hit there and he starts it off with a walk. And if we take him out now, I'll be annoyed. At least he does stay. And he's pitched 100 pitches, though. This doesn't make sense to me. Not too bad, though. Gets the strike out. That's one away. Lemon comes in now. He's one for three. A 1-1 one -one pitch. That is going to get into right field for a hit. Can we keep the runner at second? No, runner will go to third. So one out, runners at the corners here. De Los Santos, who is two for three to the plate. A 2-1 pitch, and that is into deep right field. Again, it's going to be caught, but I don't know. We have the arm to stop that run from scoring, or do we with TV? Oh, what a throw! And that ends the eighth. We got away with that, though, didn't we? Stunning arm from TV. All right, singly to lead us off. 0 for 3 tonight. Singly grounds it to the shortstop. That'll be one away. We've only had five hits all night. We haven't looked great with the bat again here, have we? Valdovanos, who's one for three. It's a 1-1 one -one pitch. Valdovanos just grounds it to the first baseman for two away. In now comes TB, who is two for three. He drove in our run, of course, saved the run at the plate, and uh, unfortunately just grounds it out to the shortstop. Descenders tied into the ninth. It will be Josh Ethnus to try and, uh, well, not really close it out so much as win it here. McLean, who is over three. It's a 1 2 pitch. Is this our first look at Ethnus as a closer? No, I think we did see him once last year, didn't we? He's uh, got one back to him there. Oh, but it's an infield hit. So leadoff man aboard. Jimenez, who is one for three, comes in. It's an 0-1 pitch, and oh, we throw that away. Runner goes to second. Ah, oh, one, two pitch. Come on, sitting down, mate. He does. All right, one away. Contreras now, who's one for three. First pitch. There goes the runner. Can Cavanos get him at third? No. So the go-ahead run is at third with one away. This is dangerous. It's a one-two pitch. Would love a strikeout. Oh, we get it. Two down. That takes the sack fly out. They've had to pinch hit. Hugo Fonseca will come in, batting 263 this season. And can Eknes finish this off? It's a 2-2 pitch. Come on, Joshy boy. Oh, it's a ground ball. That should do it. That should do it. It does. So we get around that. We go to the bottom of the ninth. We're going to face Benito Campos. Otani is going to pinch hit, batting 2-11 this season. It's a full count. Can Shohai walk us off here? He gets up the middle, and Shohai Otani off the bench gives us a leadoff single. All right, Mendoza comes in now. So who do we pinch hit for there? Fernandez, the shortstop. Mendoza with a 1-2 pitch. Mendoza strikes out. One away. Triantos now, who's 0 for 2. A 2-1. Triantos, that might... No, it's not going to be a double play. Is he going to get there? No. So with two out, we have a runner at second. And Cavanos to the plate, who is 1 for 3. It's a 2-2 pitch. He gets it down the first baseline. Otani will score. And we walk it off thanks to an RBI double from the catcher. What a game. So Carmona back to his brilliant best there. That's what we know he can do. And uh, yeah, it's good to see that it's not it's just a bit of a blip at the start of the year. It can happen to anybody, can't it? So yeah, very, very happy with that. We have swept the Royals. So that means we are now above 500. Uh, only the one game back of the White Sox. And considering how young our team is... We should only get better as the season goes. And uh, yeah, this could be uh, this could be a good year for us, I hope anyway. So that'll do it for today. If you've enjoyed that thumbs up, of course, do subscribe if you're new. And I will see you next time. We'll come back in May. Uh, we'll come back. We've already seen Texas this year. What if we come back for the Twins? They were brilliant last year, weren't they? We've got a couple of ex-Tigers uh, with them as well. So let's do that. And uh, I'll see you then. Take care.